<laughs> Need I say more? Let's fly. <laughs> it is like 20 something degrees out right now. Very cold. I'm not expecting a long flight. at all <laughs> it's going to be a very short flight this is a really cool jet but it is not one to be a favorite to fly in the winter because of that short flight time this is the f-14 tomcat the beautiful thing about this jet is it comes assembled just like this in one piece in the box when you buy it there i just slept the wings back mid-flight we're going to go forward just the transformer. I actually really prefer flying it with the wings swept forward. I've talked about that in my videos in the past. Uh, this is a UMX style plane. Is it actually UMX? No, but it's basically UMX. <clears throat> and I think it's really cool. I'd like to see how big a company can make an airplane already assembled in one piece like this. And you press a button on your universal radio and you are bound and ready to fly. It has safe, it's very easy to fly, but it is categorized as an advanced jet, I believe, because of those flight modes. And because it's a little smaller and uh, you could lose orientation pretty quickly when you try to do stuff, when you sweep those wings back, it does fly more agile uh, then swept forward, but check this out. When you do something like a roll, you really, with the wings forward like that, uh, it's not super agile. You need to swoop them back if you want it to roll faster. And you have those three different flight modes. You can have the wings swept forward in a middle position or back. And when you fly out of safe, which is the auto level flight mode, you have to trim each of those flight modes up. And so there's kind of a lot to think about with this jet and just being a little bit smaller and fast too because it's a jet so that's why they say it's an advanced jet but i know abby you could fly this it flies <laughs> just like the f-15 eagle here's full throttle pass so it flies a lot like the f-15 eagle when you have the wings swept forward like this and you have safe on which is that beginner flight mode so really a lot of people could fly this but um they, they try to do their best to categorize who should be flying it, you know, by like, they're gonna play it safe on their recommendations. They don't want someone walking into a hobby shop and buying this as their first RC. And I totally agree with that. Let's see if we can do like a touch and go. Right on the runway. Dun, 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 dun. No flaps or anything, so we just throw down the throttle. Not a bad touch and go. That front wheel bounced a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, my view was blocked by my super pregnant wife. <laughs> I'm not that fat. <laughs> You're bigger than you usually are. <laughs> Here's an almost zero throttle pass just to get a little bit slower. The only thing this is missing really would be retracts, but they just don't do retracts on such small airplanes. I bet they could, but they wouldn't be very durable. It's really cool that they did this, that it works. You don't have to build it. I, I just like a lot of things about this and I like just getting it out and flying it. It deserves a little love, but I said shorter flight times and that's the truth you guys. So we're gonna actually bring it in for a landing here. I don't wanna push my battery too low. I don't have very many 4S batteries <laughs> and uh, I really need to get a couple more because a lot of things I fly use this exact battery. This is still one of my Gen 1 batteries. It's probably got hundreds of cycles on it by now. Oh, Ooh. that was beautiful. <laughs> Did good you landing. See, did you see uh, the back wheels touch and that front wheel was up mm -hmm. for like a good solid second, which felt like 30 seconds? <laughs> that was amazing. Good landing. Thank you. That front wheel steers, taxis well. And here we go, guys, one more time. Let's do the wings. Oh, that's amazing. Actually, I think it goes in this flight mode for storage in the box. So we'll just leave it like that. I love that they engineered that wing to work as well as it does. And not only that, it's not like a plug and play airplane where you gotta buy your own receiver and put it in and program everything yourself. They did all that for you. So that means they made it very universal so that it works for everybody. And I think it's amazing to see that kind of engineering, that scale detail, and it actually functioned well. It's not a handful to fly, it flies well. 
uh, it, it exists and we have this in front of us now. It's very cool. This will be linked in the description box below and I highly encourage you guys to please at least go check it out and while you're there, maybe pick up something like an extra battery or two. We've got this baby boy on the way. And anytime you click that link, it does help to support both our channel and our family. So it gets us out here to the airfield to provide this content for you guys, but also you just might be helping buy us a pack of diapers or something for the little guy. Uh, so we thank you very much from the bottom of our hearts. And while we're on the subject of thanks, I wanna say thanks to God for this beautiful day. The sun's even out shining right now. It's really cool. What a beautiful day here in the middle of winter. Uh, fingers are a little cold, but other than that, I got nothing to complain about. And I'm very grateful to him for everything in our lives. But to share this experience with you guys, I am eternally grateful. Last but certainly not least, I want to say a huge thanks from the bottom of our hearts to our Patreon supporters because you guys are the absolute most direct support we have on our channel. We love when you guys watch, click like, leave a comment, watch the whole video, that's amazing. You click the link, that's a great way for you to buy something for yourself. We get a little kickback, doesn't cost you anything extra. But Patreon support is the most direct way to financially support our channel and our family that exists. And so I just wanna say a huge thank you to everyone that has committed their own hard earned money to help keep our channel going. It's very flattering, I, I, you cannot express how much it means to us, which is why we say thanks at the end of every video, because it just means that much to us. So we're very grateful. Thank you guys. Uh, we'll have another one of our F-14 Tomcat videos popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.